Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Batman. So this is my first Batman video in a while since DC Fandom. I wanted to talk about it because there's a bunch of set leaks that were recently revealed, and there's some big stuff, and we need to theorize about some things in this video in regards to those leaks. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Batman videos later this year. So production has been going on for a couple weeks now on the Batman and they were filming in England recently, they were filming in Liverpool which is a city up north in England and so they were filming a bunch of scenes there, we've got some set photos, some set leaks but we're mainly going to be talking about the Chicago stuff because most of the stuff in Liverpool it was very cool and you got some cool like sort of photos and stuff but it wasn't too spoilery and the stuff we want to talk about is a bit more spoilery and we need to theorize about some of the stuff that we saw on the set but anyway so seemingly in Chicago I think it's where they're shooting in America currently right now so they moved productions to the other side of the world to America over the pond and you have this racing scene they were doing or at least a chase scene they had a camera strapped to the back of a motorbike I believe that it could be a stunt double here like you know just pretending to be Robert Pattinson and so they were doing that you had the Gotham City police cars all around and yeah so we're in Gotham and somehow they are managing to make Chicago and Liverpool look very similar which is a bit weird to me because Liverpool is completely different but again there is some cool like spots in Liverpool where they did shoot which does kind of look a bit like Chicago so anyway Let's talk about this main stuff, and so this main stuff relates to the stop drops. So this was a thing that has been heavily leaked online, and this was part of the production design on the Batman. And so we need to theorize about this, because what are these stop drops? Why are they everywhere? Why do we keep on seeing different signs and different things saying stop the stop drops, essentially, with like crosses through them, and you get to see what is inside that, and this is some sort of smiley face with some sort of hood on, right? Well, you know, in the shape of a drop, like a droplet. So we're presuming that somehow this maybe drug or something has infected people around Gotham. And so initially when you say that, you're like, oh, is it the Scarecrow? But I don't think they're doing the Scarecrow, although that is a valid guess. Other suggestions, and we'll get to those, are to do with two other characters. But for now, yeah, you got this drop, you got the smiley face, very sinister, and it seems like, yeah, this is going to be infecting or getting around Gotham, and there is going to be some sort of drop addiction around Gotham, at least for a portion of this film. And so the theories are this. So people are suggesting Red Hood because of the sort of Red Hood nature of it. And the fact that we have Ace Chemicals does link back to Red Hood as well. The most popular theory is obviously the Joker. So what happens if Joker is coming? I would say there is a high chance that Joker could be a part of the universe. I don't think the Joker is going to show up at any point in the film. And I think what will happen, because this is related to Ace Chemicals, because on the screen right now you can see there was an Ace Chemical sign, and on that Ace Chemical sign, is actually in fact droplets and so that obviously relates to it so what happens if the drops relate back to ace chemicals and then you have what goes along with ace chemicals which is the joker or red hood perhaps in this iteration it's not the joker maybe like an early iteration of the joker kind of how batman is said to be only in his second year or something he's like batman year two and so, yeah, what happens if we have a very, very early on Joker? And I don't think this is going to be a huge part of the film. I think that this is going to be a portion of the film. The main portion of the film is supposedly to do with the Riddler and to do with the Penguin more so than any other characters. So if Joker does actually, in fact, show up in some iteration, I would say it's going to be a very early version of him or sort of like a Joker type character that won't turn out to be the real Joker, but will be in relation to this drop stuff that we're seeing going on and it relates to Ace Chemicals. Also, people were saying Red Hood. Red Hood is linked to Ace Chemicals and the fact that he died, he came back alive, and you've had all these different iterations, so what happens if a version of Red Hood is coming? I would say that's a bit less likely. However, because of the design of the drops, 
it's actually kind of likely at the same time so I'm kind of going back and forth on that but the first initial reaction is when you see that big smile on the drop sign like saying stop drops you think Joker right and you see Ace Chemicals you're like oh it's the Joker so we'll have to wait and see but for now it seems like there's going to be a whole rogues gallery <clears throat> of different villains it seems likely that we're going to get at least a reference to the Joker or a version of the Joker so another huge thing came out of the set and this was not in Chicago this in fact was from Liverpool but this confirms that Batman does exist in the same universe as other Justice League characters and whilst I don't think that they're going to include those characters in the film and I don't think they're going to set it up so that he meets them at any point in the film or in the future unless they somehow link it to the DCEU I would prefer if it was kept separate because it seems very different however on the set in Liverpool there was people coming out of a Halloween party so it's kind of like homages to these characters but people were dressed up as Superman and there was a Wonder Woman as well. You'll be seeing them on the screen right now. And that is really interesting because it does confirm they do exist. And they're not just random party costumes that are so similar. However, you know, this doesn't confirm that we're going to see them in the film. And I really don't think we're going to see them in the film. However, it is really cool to see these references. And the fact that Matt Reeves is including at least a version of Superman and Wonder Woman is pretty damn cool if you ask me okay and so we go over to the Gotham Times we got references to Metropolis so it seems like Superman probably does exist and you know you have all these references all over throughout this film throughout the production design mainly so far I don't think we're gonna get like any like dialogue references to Metropolis or to Superman or to Wonder Woman or to you know whoever is out there but it's cool to see that this does exist and I mean the fact that Metropolis exists is pretty much like textbook like you know most of the time Metropolis always exists if Gotham exists and so on and so forth like it goes back and forth so I mean it's not such a big revelation but I think it's more of a revelation that they do exist and people are dressing up as these other superheroes in this universe. Also whilst in Liverpool there were some cool shots like I said earlier where they were filming on top of this huge building I forgot what it's called but this does in fact reveal there is a new version of the Batsuit or at least this version of the Batsuit has a winged suit to it so it has wings attached and it seems like due to him being up on harnesses up there He's probably going to jump off the building in the actual film and he's going to fly down and yeah so that's a cool little thing that we saw from the set. We see that you know he's had these different versions of the costumes. We saw him in a robe the other day. I don't know if that was like just an on set thing. The actor was wearing a robe. I don't know if it was Robert Pattinson under there or not. However if that is a real thing and he's going out in a robe and he's got a bat suit underneath that would be interesting and I think just the fact of you know him having this suit him being at the top of a building and him literally jumping off of it it all just looks really really cool and so just before we end this video I want to circle quickly back to the drops and what could be going on because really when you think of it this does kind of look like a kind of scarecrow mask got the texture and everything like that so I need your opinion when it comes to this do you think is referencing the Joker because of the Ace Chemicals stuff and you know maybe the Joker toxin or something because in many iterations of the Joker we have seen him create a sort of toxin that sort of infects people gives people smiles makes people die on the spot essentially and infects them or it could be more like in Batman Begins with Scarecrow and his toxin sort of infecting everyone but this is more of a kind of drug thing so yeah let me know in the comments down below and thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you want to see more batman videos please be sure to subscribe because i'm going to do them more and more as we head towards this film i know it's a long way away but we're going to continue covering it whilst they are filming so thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.